I believe that you can be a creator by shifting the mindset and seeing yourself as a curator first. And I remember I started curating stuff a few years ago when I discovered a small, simple web app at a time called Evernote. I used that initially as my personal journal and then I tried expanding the utility of it and started saving all sorts of random pieces of thought, articles, interesting conversations I had, photos. I was also using multiple physical journals at that time, scribbling random things, doodling, messing around. But later I realized that I was actually building a personal library. I can now go back and revisit the library and see my overall growth. A creator is a person who brings something into existence, while a curator is someone who takes care of what the creator brought into existence. So you don't have to be the one generating all sorts of crazy ideas every day. The curator is the one collecting and filtering the art of the creator, arranging it so that it makes sense, so that it can be both flexible, interesting, thought-provoking and informative as well. And we are all indeed a mix of ideas coming from all sorts of cultures and people filled with diversity and randomness. And that randomness will transform you, the initial curator, into a creator. And by collecting these ideas slowly and gradually, the curator will become the creator himself. The reason I believe documenting your process and daily inputs is a good exercise to perform is because you will be able to see your evolution, how and why your thoughts have emerged in a particular way. And you can document your journey in many ways nowadays. The pen and paper is the most common solution, also reading books and adding notes on the side, using a technique called marginalia to make the process more dynamic and interesting, but also making use of the abundance of the digital world. You can use a text file, you can use Google Docs, Evernote, Roam, Notion, your Instagram or Facebook or Twitter feed, and it doesn't really matter that much as long as you're willing to do it as long as you're willing to collect. Because we now have more apps we can use to document nearly everything. And it doesn't really matter which app you use, it's 2020 and we are buried in media consumption anyway. We have more creators than ever. Creators who are letting their thought prodigies out into the world using multiple distribution networks such as social media platforms, blogs, newsletters, and even forums. We now have a shift in the information we consume and this one is pretty interesting as people are asking for high quality content sources. And this is why now is the best time to become a curator. A person one can trust to deliver daily, weekly or monthly news. Like your own personal mailman. And always remember that art is theft. And since everything that needs to be said has already been said, Curating that everything and distilling it into the most compressed version of the idea is actually pretty cool. And since no one was listening, you must do it again and again. And now, I'm proud to say that I have my own personal digital and physical library of notes, articles, thoughts, quotes and ideas. And again, I can come back and revisit it pretty rapidly. I can share it with others, I can enhance it and I can also connect with your library. And I think that this is a powerful thing that can bring us closer together. So you can start thinking like a curator and you will become a creator.